Did you know that the great white shark, which can weigh as much as 4,200 pounds, is the biggest known predatory fish in the world? Or that the cheetah, which can go from 0 to 60 in just 3 seconds, is the fastest known animal on land? Now both of these creatures are incredible for obvious reasons. But the moment that you put one in the other's territory, then they cease to be great. The cheetah would eventually die in the ocean, just as the great white shark would die on land. Now does this make them any less remarkable? Of course it doesn't. It just means they need to be in the right environment to thrive. Now the same can be said for us as human beings. We all have greatness inside of us guys. But if we are not in an environment that supports us, or if we are surrounded by people that constantly overlook us, this can fool us into thinking that there's something wrong with us, and we aren't good enough. If, for example, you have big dreams, but you are surrounded by people with small minds, they're probably going to hold you back. Maybe you have a strong sense of integrity and morality but then you find yourself surrounded by people that are materialistic or shallow and of course this is going to make you feel lost, confused, frustrated and like you don't belong. Because well, you don't. Trying to force ourselves to conform to a toxic environment like this is like the beautiful cheetah jumping into shark infested waters guys. You don't belong there, so don't force yourself. Unlike the cheetah and the great white shark though, we have the ability to change our surroundings through uncompromising willpower and making intelligent decisions. Take Michael Phelps for example. He was constantly bullied when he was younger which gave him depression and anxiety. And he was also told that he would never succeed at swimming. But instead of listening to his outside surroundings, he listened to the calling he felt within. And through willpower and determination, he went on to become the most decorated Olympic athlete in history. And he also left his toxic environment behind him forever. Now this has actually been the path that all great people have taken throughout history. They were not born into the perfect environment guys. And they had people hate on them and treat them like dirt. But by focusing on developing their inner strength, they found a way to rise above their outward circumstances. In other words, the secret to achieving our individual greatness guys, is by learning to block out the external world, and then go inside of ourselves, and focus all of our energy into strengthening our mental, physical, spiritual and emotional environment that we have deep within. Now if we can do this, we will invariably rise above our outside circumstances. So instead of eating junk food for example, eat something healthy. Instead of reading gossip magazines, read self empowerment books. Instead of listening to the radio, listen to a motivational speaker. Instead of publicly pretending to be happy on social media, focus on privately doing things that genuinely make you happy. Instead of partying and getting wasted every single weekend, get busy working on strengthening your discipline and working towards your goals. In short, we must start making better choices that improve the internal environment we have within. Because this is the true power that will ultimately determine who we become in the future and whether or not we rise above the outside environment or conform to it like everyone else. Now this journey will not be easy guys, and sometimes you will feel alone and want to quit, but it's far from impossible. So work hard on yourself, stay away from bad influences and never ever surrender. Greatness is not something reserved for a chosen few that were born different from the rest of us. No, greatness is available to anyone that has developed the inner courage and strength to take it.